Yo, what's up? This is uh, Clutch Crypto, and uh, I'm here in my shed. It's a bunch of stuff, with the windows open, some breakers, and I'm just gonna be making a video series quickly on, uh, you know, installing this 800 amp panel. And I'm really sweaty, because it's like 110 degrees in this shed right now. Cause it's like, you know, when I go over here to the door, it's like a solid 10 degrees cooler because it's 100 degrees out here in Virginia right now. Uh, but basically what I want to talk about is just, you know, the cost of this shed and, you know, what it's going to take to set up all these, you know, panels. I have two in box here, another two in those boxes over there. Uh, I got my CT cabinet, which I'm actually going to have to return because this is the wrong one. Uh, they need one that has a hinge and this one just has this panel where it has the three the three bolts and that they didn't like that um, got my meter base here this is good for 800 amps i believe it'll be going through uh, these massive 400 amp cts i don't know if any of you guys have ever seen anything like this but uh yeah they're pretty crazy there's another one down in here too so that's 800 amps total of CT. Um, obviously four 200 amp panels. And then I have a bunch of these two pull 30 amp breakers that will be running 10-2 with ground to each of my PDUs that are actually in a different location. Oh, well, they're not a different location. They're just up there um, in that house. Um, basically what I'm making this for is just you know, anyone wanted to do this, I mean, this shed, I'll go over a complete cost video later, but I mean, I can kind of give an estimate what it's gonna cost for something like this. Um, so this is this is my shed. Um, it has four hurricane straps and, uh, you know, two windows, which are gonna be completely useless for what I'm doing. Um, this right here is where all the electrical stuff's gonna be mounted. So I have to build a pedestal um, out here. It's gonna be, you know, one stake here, another one like over here, about five feet away from each other. And the, that's where the meter base and the CT cabinets are going with, you know, the, some two inch conduit going into this wall four times. Um, I mean, I'm, we're doing all this this weekend. I'll probably record, you know, a, a good amount of it if I can. Um, it's, hopefully it's not too hot this weekend. It's probably gonna be, hopefully low 80s, but we'll see. Uh, so I guess real quick, I'll do a quick rundown on, you know, what you can expect. Um, so this is a 12 by 20 shed. Um, it has a little, as you can see, it has like a little ridge ridge line for um some heat to get out it doesn't i mean i guess it makes a difference a little bit but uh, it's still really hot in here without fans so the cost of this shed delivered and with the hurricane straps put on and the cinder blocks on which it wasn't very deep it was basically just on the ground with some a little bit of digging um, it was five thousand dollars and some change, but we'll just call it five thousand. Um, I bought four 24 inch fans that we're gonna have to cut this two by four, and we're gonna have to reframe each one because there's gonna be four along this wall. Um, those were nine hundred and sixty dollars shipped from QC Supply. I'll have a link down in the description to everything. And I'm getting these uh, 200 amp panels. Um, they're square D home lines. You can see 200 amps. Um, it comes with, I'll go get the little box that it comes with. So this one comes with two, two pull 30 amps, which is really nice because I don't need a bunch of those already. And then it, each one has three 30, 20 amp circuits in it. Um, which I probably, I'll, I'll use those maybe on like the lights that I'm gonna hang from in here. 
Um, and maybe just some receptacles on the outs along the walls, but I mean, I, I don't really have much of a plan for that. Um, so I guess each one of these panels at Home Depot was $89 uh, with the breakers. Uh, I got them a little bit cheaper because my grandpa is a uh, veteran, so we got like a 10% discount on that, which is nice. Um, the breakers, each one of these, if you buy it from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, it'll be about nine, about $10. If you buy in bulk, it goes down a little bit, but still not that much. I checked eBay. I looked on there afterwards and it was like, there was a couple of them for like seven bucks shipped. Um, I'm buying those obviously. That's why I only have like 18 here instead of the whole 25 that I need. Um, I have an order on the MC, not MC, I'm running Romex because these uh, these panels right here, they have these things where you can just knock out this and you don't need a connector or anything. You just run the Romex. And basically the shelving is gonna be in this general area, a couple of feet from the wall so that way the fans have some room to suck air. I'll probably do some kind of plastic or something to like, you know, separate the wall from the shelf that way. This, it doesn't have to move all this air. It's just moving what's here in front of it. Um, but I, I'm new to this, so I'm gonna be figuring this out as I go. Um, let's see, what else? So the CT, those things, and the meter base, um, my power company gave me those for free. Um, now this thing, this was like $380 or something like that. But I'm gonna have to be taking it back anyways. And uh, I'm hoping not to be spending more than like $400 on that box. Cause I mean, it's literally just a metal box. There's nothing to it. Um, the other one will have like a little lock. So, you know, someone can't just come in here and mess with it. And uh, it'll, instead of like this, where it just has three screws, it'll be hinged so that they can just open it without having the risk of you know touching two of those cables together and shorting out like 400 amp worth of power because that would not be good um i wouldn't appreciate that um let me see if there's anything else um i mean the other all the other stuff is kind of like smaller charges the only other big charge was since this neighborhood is like underground um they're charging me the difference between if it didn't like the if it was overhead, they're charging me the difference between overhead and um, underground, which comes out to be about $1,650, which is a good amount of money. Um, but I mean, I, I think it's worth it. Um, I'm really long-term on crypto. Uh, I mean, I've been mining for a little over two years now. Um, I did really well in 2017, but I reinvested into a lot of equipment and Recently bought more with a little run up uh, that Bitcoin did, and I don't have space for it. So I'm, you know, gonna bring everything here and have four fans mount it. Um, gonna do four, maybe more. I don't know what I'm gonna do for intake yet. We haven't decided. I might just stick like a washable air filter um, here that's vented. Uh, like a couple of them on each one. Maybe I, I really don't know what my plan is for that yet. Um, obviously you want a lot of intake and out, especially with it being so hot here. Uh, I'm looking at around 24,000 CFM fan in total. That's granted without any resistance or anything like that. So it's probably gonna be like 20,000 CFM total for about 100,000 watts, which is probably t not enough. Uh, but I mean, that's, I'm basically just doing like a trial and error thing. If I need another fan, I mean, it'd be pretty easy just to mount. Cause I'm gonna go pretty high with the first ones. It'd be pretty easy just to mount a second one down here if it needs more airflow. Um, so, but um, obviously this is where my panels are gonna be going. Um, I'm gonna have a panel here, panel here, panel here, wait, panel here and here. And it's gonna be, we'll drill a hole through here and uh, figure out, you know, 
the CT cabinet would be on the other side of this with a little conduit in between. Um, so I think that's about all I've got so far. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know down in the description. I'm sorry about the sweat. Uh, there's really not much I can do except for you know film it in my house. But uh, maybe I'll show some miners that I have. But if you join Red Panda Mining's Discord, um, I have pictures all over the place, and you can DM me there. Um, big shout out to him. He's a awesome channel, awesome Discord too. I'll leave that down in the description. I'm a mod there. Uh, so yeah. Hope you guys have a good day and stay tuned. I will be making new videos, probably installing this, well, not this exact one, but something like it, the meter base, all that wine. I'll probably do, you know, maybe a time lapse of that, of me and my grandpa working out here. Um, I, oh, one last thing. I'll probably edit this to the front as well. I will be hosting for other people. Um, I'm working on a contract now. Basically it's eight and a half cent power um, all in. So I'll do setup, I'll reset rigs. Um, I'll replace, you know, some, a couple fans a month. I'll, it'll all be in the, um, documents. I'm not really here to make a bunch of money off you guys. If you want to do it, I'm just doing this because I have about 300 ish amps of power that I will need the other 300 is overkill so i mean if i can make a little bit off of it might as well um it i mean it'll be plenty of cooling i mean like i said if i need more cooling i add it because i'm gonna need it later anyways um because i'm gonna have asics in here i'd prefer asics um but i will host gpus um it would be even better the gpus that had the server cases but I will do open airframes. I will have several open airframes myself. They're just not as stable as a server case. Um, and it's a little bit harder to manage the heat, but I'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, just eight and a half cent. Um, if you want to DM me on Discord, we 